I've heard tales of your kind, Witcher. You're a mutant. Created by magic. Roaming the continent. We don't want your kind here. Hunting monsters. For a price. I thought you'd have fangs or horns or something. I had them filed down. <laughs> People call you a monster too. Why not kill them? Because then I am what they say I am. All of our choices draw our destinies closer. If he is out there, there is still hope. Judge me. They say witches can't feel human emotion. What do you believe in? Break the sun. Evil is evil. Break the sun. Lesser. Break the sun. Greater. Middling. In me. It's all the same. Princess Cirillo is your destiny. I can't protect her. If you dismiss it, get out! You will unleash true calamity upon us all. I'll take that chance. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. We finally have the full official trailer for The Witcher, so we'll break it down. There's a whole bunch of book stuff going on during this, a lot of Easter eggs. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. I will be doing videos for the series when it drops. They finally confirmed the official release date. It's pretty much exactly when we all thought it was going to happen, the week before Christmas. So we will be talking about all kinds of Witcher stuff at the end of the year. If you're not familiar with the series or you haven't read the books or played the games, don't worry. But the games are amazing. The books are actually what the series is going to cover. The games are meant to be a sequel story that pick up after the events of the books. But starting with the footage, the voiceover you get at the beginning of the trailer is Yennefer talking to him, talking about, I've heard about witchers, I've heard about all these mutations and the potions that you take. That's all happening during this banquet scene where all the different people are trying to screw each other in the background. It's not the Sorcerer's Banquet from Time of Contempt. That's one of the later books. Season 1 is only covering the short stories from the first two books, The Last Wish and Sword of Destiny. This trailer is meant to be the basic explainer for who Geralt of Rivia is, why he acts the way he does, what witchers do, what his general philosophy is. Like this later woman says, why don't you just kill all those terrible people too? He says, because that would make me the monster that they say I am. Part of his code is that he only kills monsters when they're a danger to other people. All these dead bodies at the beginning of the trailer seem like they're from the fall of Sintra later after Nilfgaard comes back to invade on the orders of Emperor Amir. We'll be talking about him a lot during the series. He's not the main villain, but he comes pretty close to being one of the bigger villains. Then they do this thing where they juxtapose Yennefer's purple eyes with Geralt's yellow cat eyes as he's getting the Witcher potions and undergoing his Witcher mutations that grant him his special powers and long lifespan. Yennefer also goes through some transformations, physical transformations, when she attains her power as a sorceress. This scene of Geralt during the day walking into this fight seems like it's from Butcher of Blaviken. It might seem like there are a ton of different fights and battles going on in the trailer, but really it's just different scenes from the same three to four fights broken up into a bunch of different parts. This battle when he's fighting the soldiers seems like it's when he's helping Dooney and Pavetta earlier in the story. Geralt is brought to Sintra by Ciri's grandmother, Queen Calanthe, to oversee the wedding of her daughter, Ciri's mother, Pavetta, Calanthe has all these suitors and nobles from neighboring kingdoms. That's what these banquet scenes are for. But Pavetta is really in love with a cursed monster or a cursed human that looks like a monster named Dooney. He's the one that looks like he has the head of a hedgehog. No spoilers for Dooney's secret identity. We'll talk about that later after the series premieres. There's a whole lot going on here that we can't really talk about without getting into spoilers. 
but all the trailers talk about people being worse than monsters. The wedding here is an example of Queen Calanthe and the people of Sintra and the nobles being terrible people, and karma is a bitch because after Geralt manages to save Dooney and prevent Pavetta from being forced to marry one of these other suitors, you see later in time Nilfgaard sacks Sintra and Queen Calanthe lays dying yelling at Ciri to go seek out Geralt for protection. That's just an example of karma coming back around on terrible people. Like yes it's terrible that Nilfgaard is invading and sacking Sintra, but they themselves were just as terrible to Dooney and Pavetta earlier in the story. We can't go too deep on why Nilfgaard is invading without getting into spoilers, so we'll talk about that when the series premieres, but really they're after Ciri and Nilfgaard is trying to consolidate power by conquering all the neighboring kingdoms, so Ciri is not the only thing that they're after. This is the school where Yennefer studies to be a sorceress, then there's the scene of her trying to make it with Geralt at this banquet. Geralt riding into Blaviken, taking the witcher potions as Yennefer talks about the story she's heard of witchers and the mutations that they undergo. We get our first look at Jaskier with Geralt and Roach riding down the road. This might be from The Last Wish. The Last Wish is really the first time that Geralt and Yennefer meet, but they may change that a little bit for the books. The way she's talking to him here makes it seem like it's the first time that they've met, but really it's earlier in the story when they actually meet for the first time, so it's kind of hard to tell based on the way they cut this footage. This is more of Geralt getting ready to fight off Renfri's Med and Blaviken. This scene of the people in the tavern treating him like crap is just another example of how normal people are generally mistrustful and fearful of all witchers. It's not just Geralt that they're afraid of. They juxtapose this with Geralt fighting monsters who kind of seem terrible, then notice how they jump back and forth between that and then the scenes of regular people being even more terrible in Blaviken in the tavern. Like the monsters seem bad, but it's really humans who are terabad. These are scenes of him actually fighting Renfri herself. I did a whole video explaining the meaning behind the name Geralt has given the Butcher of Blaviken. I'll link that at the end of this. But the super quick version is that Renfri is coming to Blaviken to get revenge against a sorcerer called Stregobor, who himself is a very terrible person and who she has a lot of history with, and good reason to want to get revenge against him. But in order to do that, she threatens the lives of all these normal townspeople who aren't doing anything in Blaviken, so Geralt is forced to kill all of Renfri's men to protect those townspeople. But at the end of it, it gets even worse for him because he fights all these people off, saves the townspeople, but the townspeople themselves treat him like a monster because he looks like he just butchered, get it, butcher Blaviken, all these people. So they start throwing rocks at him. So even the people that he just saved from being slaughtered are acting horribly towards him. This giant battle scene just seems like it's one of the major Nilfgaardian wars with Sintra. Maybe the Battle of Sodden Hill. There are really two major wars with Nilfgaard and Sintra, so this could be either one. This is Yennefer and Geralt on the road. It might be during The Last Wish earlier during their first meeting from the books, but like I said, it's kind of hard to tell how much they've changed the timeline of the books. This is just Calanthe dying, telling Ciri to find Geralt because he'll protect her from the Nilfgaardians. This scene of Geralt on the castle bridge might be from earlier at the beginning of Pavetta's wedding. This is Ciri in the middle of her escape from Sintra. There was a longer version of this scene that they screened last week at London Comic Con where she runs into a boy and they sort of give you some scenes with her that let you know what her personality is like before she winds up in the forest of Broccolon with the Dryads. But then she's actually in Broccolon talking to the Dryads. It's probably right before she meets Geralt for the first time. Then they have a whole bunch of scenes from Pavetta's wedding when all shit breaks loose and Geralt tries to save Dooney from being slaughtered by everyone else. They have the funny scene of him talking to Roach, don't judge me horse. He calls all of his horses Roach. He goes through several different horses, but they might just give him the one Roach during season one. This is just an example of Nilfgaardian soldiers being terrible just to sell you on the idea that they're coming for Ciri. Like I said, there's no real main villain in the Witcher series, it's just some people are more terrible than others at times. There's a bunch of different scenes of Ciri escaping from Sintra and Vesemir trying to compel Geralt to save her, talking about destiny. Terrible things will happen if you don't, as they show all these cataclysms and invasions in the background. Ciri being his destiny, so to speak, is made clear to him in Wait For It, a book called Sword of Destiny. See how they did that. The scene of Ciri using her power is just meant to show you how special she is and explain a little bit about her elder blood. They might not get too deep into that during the beginning of the series. This scene of the ground cracking in and around Sintra could be coming from Vilgefortz or another sorcerer. There are a lot of sorcerers in the Witcher series, and most of them are terrible people, but Vilgefortz is the closest thing to a main villain as you could say that the series has, but he's working with Nilfgaard and Emperor Amir when they start to try and conquer all the neighboring kingdoms. 
Then you get that last voiceover from Geralt explaining his philosophy. Evil is evil. Greater, lesser evil, it's all the same. This here is Fringilla next to the trebuchet during the invasion of Sintra. She's just another Nilfgaardian sorceress from the series. This is Yennefer in a different court after she gets her powers and becomes a sorceress. She serves in a number of different kingdoms before she meets Geralt for the first time. More of Ciri on the run, more of Geralt fighting a different band of marauders. Vesemir still yelling at Geralt, chasing him down, talking about destiny to help Ciri. This person before we've seen in a lot of the trailers is Tessiah. She's one of the people that takes in Yennefer when she's younger and trains her to become a sorceress. Then there's a whole bunch of footage from the Comic-Con scenes that they showed off last week with Yennefer and Queen Kalis of Lyria trying to save her from an unknown sorcerer that's trying to kill her and her baby. Then this scene is more footage from the end of the last trailer scene of Geralt fighting that giant spider monster in the swamps while he's all potioned up. The spider monster is actually called a Kikamore. They show up all over the Witcher games. There's a bunch of them that live in swamps. They have very human looking heads. But everybody, let me know in the comments if you spotted any Easter eggs or anything big in the trailer that I didn't mention in the video. When the series gets here, I'll find some cool Witcher themed giveaway to do for all my videos. So leave all your suggestions in the comments below. But like I said, there'll probably be a couple more promos and trailers that they'll drop before it premieres in December. While you wait for everything, click here for my breakdown of those other big Comic-Con scenes and learn why Geralt is called the Butcher of Blaviken. And click here for the teaser for the brand new Game of Thrones prequel that they just announced, House of the Dragon, about the Targaryen family. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.